we're in a space any time, any time of our lives, any generation, we always need erotica. I don't think we've ever been able to live without it. And as I said, it's not so much about erotica only. Books called wet. <laughs> Why? Why? Why this? Um, so it's this, this book actually has an interesting story. Um, I had a, we had actually started, we thought of it as a film earlier. Uh, we, were gonna, we had some stories written down for a movie that we wanted to make. And uh, some of them were deemed uh, unfilmable for large reasons, I mean obvious reasons. So, uh, you know, why waste the stories? And then it sort of, you know, flew from there. Uh, my friend Madhuri in the audience there. Um, you know, thought it would be a great book. She's a fellow author and uh, sent this up to Penguin. Penguin loved it. Um, two drinks, three starters later, you know, I had a book deal. And uh, yeah, that's how the book came about. I uh, particularly enjoyed writing it. I think it came, no pun intended, uh, really, really naturally and uh, it flowed well. And there's no clean way to say this. But, uh, uh, yeah, it just. You know, it updated and the juices flowed. We should stop. No puns intended no, 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 totally. So, where did you get the inspiration from? Where did this start? Um, the inspiration has just come from, a, you know, from places, people, uh, like the book has said in the big, not, not necessarily my inspirations, just people that I've heard from. Um, like the book says in the cover, this is uh, dedicated to all the women that I've met and for those that I'm yet to meet. So, um, and some of the most favorite people here. Uh, lots of uh, you know, interesting women that I've met, stories I've heard, people's imagination, you know, things that they've done, confess to doing, not doing, you know, some of it real, some of it not. It's found its way into the book. And here we are. A lot of plagiarism, basically. Uh, lots of it, actually. There's, there's no original thought really in the book. <laughs> um, but why erotica? Why erotica? Why sex? Why in this book? Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's it. It just came naturally, like I said. This is what comes naturally. Uh, it's fun. I mean, I enjoy writing drama as well. But, uh, you know, it's not as fun as people taking their clothes off. So, <laughs> it's just that they are yes. as opposed to the shed clothes. Is anything more fun than people taking their clothes off? People doing stuff after the taking clothes off. <laughs> this is a Gotham city of sex. Like I'm, I'm nervous, so I know this shit. It's not going to get edited out. So what do you think, Ekta? What do you feel about <laughs> What do you feel about uh, the book and the subject matter? Do you feel that erotica is necessary right now? Is it necessary? Yeah. We're in a space any time, any time of our lives, any generation, we always need erotica. I don't think we've ever been able to live without it. And as I said, it's not so much about erotica only. Books called wet. <laughs> it's not. Can something. we get even more obvious than this? <laughs> but what is the difference between erotica and porn? Just the lighting, actually. <laughs> what lighting? What lighting did you write this book with? This is this is really it's a well lit book. Well lit. Well lit. Well lit. It's lit with really wicked words. It's the. It's, it's classy and clean and I, I hope that the book will not turn people off. No, it's, it's, it is provocative, it is, uh, it is, huh? No, it, I mean it does, it's to turn people on. It's just not class. It's not, uh, this is the, you know, it's not the KRK version of, uh, uh, you, know, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, it's nice, it's clean and stylish. So what was the most difficult part about writing this book? Um, it was it was just um, you know time actually a book really takes a lot of focus to get into and uh, sit down and write and time is something that we're all juggling doing multiple things so I wish you know you could be a full time writer and focus and write so it's just time but once you sit and do okay. it I think it's uh, it's come out very nicely and is there anything you would do differently if you were to do it again 
It was like an out of body experience for me. The loud, wet noises reverberated around the room. The moment, then drenched in sweat. The night, squirming hard. My wife was close, very close. I could see it in her eyes. Her screams lit my skin with hellfire. Her soul vibrated. She was trembling, palpitating, quivering as Rocky pushed his tongue deeper inside her. Harder flicks, tongue on pussy, glistening, gushing juices, blood rush, aggressive teeth, a thunderous wave, and finally, an ecstatic sigh. Sheila shuddered. She came like a deluge. She even cried a little. Time seemed to slow down. Rocky looked calm. Give it up for Kitty. Ken just left the room. Ken has gone home. <laughs> Any questions at all? Normal, clean, not so clean, cheap, disgusting, vulgar. They're all completely <laughs> scandalized. Did I get turned on by writing? It's uh, not, not really. It's like, no, I'm not lying. <laughs> it's actually like, it's a, it's actually like shooting erotica. It's never hot when you're actually doing it, or uh, shooting it or writing it. But I hope the readers get turned on. I mean, that would be you know, complimenting. That would be the plan. Any other questions? I know everyone has a lot of questions. No, no, you should ask. Don't ask this. He wants to be asked out in front of everyone. What was your inspiration? Who did you think of when you? Ken Ghosh. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> I have a lot of answers and everything. Really, So there's no, there's no written title. Honestly, it's just been a, it's been, it's, it's, it's just come naturally. So it's, it's been one of those. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 here to sign it and add some nice words to it. So please buy a copy. Thank you so much for coming everyone. One more. Yes. One more from the author, please. One more? One more. 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 Yes. No, no, that's this description. The PG-13 store policy. We all have here. Thank you guys. Thank you. It's really good to see you. You hardly come to any launch. How come you're here? Very simply, this man called Tanvir Bukwala is one of my closest friends and I would not miss it for the world. Okay, tell us uh, what you like about the book. You were there on the dais. Really? So like the book is pretty wild, but it's honest, it's real and it's something that I think India needs. India needs good erotica. It doesn't need porn, it doesn't need bad, crass, non-consensual sexual stories, any kind of Eve teasing. It needs consensual love making and erotica okay so aap aap kis tarah ki kitabein padhna pasand karte hain main is tarah ki nahi padhti hu sorry ye meri actually kitabon ka thoda sa secret padhti hu kabhi 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 polo pol polo polo i think but pol but sabse zyada mujhe actually i'm a, i'm actually not much of a reader mujhe movies dekhne ka bada shauk hai but secret maine padha hai okay aakhri sawal aapse डिमोनेटाइजेशन को लेके जिस तरह से रॉकॉन को यू नो अच्छी फिल्म होने के बावजूद भी नहीं चल पाई ज्यादातर साहब ने कहीं कोट भी किया बींग पार्ट ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री बींग प्रोड्यूसर व्हाट्स योर टेक ऑन दैट मैन एट दिस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट आई हैव ओनली स्लेप फॉर 15 मिनट्स इन द लास्ट टू डेज बिकॉज आई हैव बीन वर्किंग एंड इट्स ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ गेटिंग माय एपिसोड्स रेडी वी हैव लाइक बीन डिलेड बिकॉज ऑफ डिमोनेटाइजेशन वी हैव टू गेट डिफरेंट टर्म what you call account started for various workers so i have been very badly affected but i feel it's for the good of the country so worth it thank you so much